car review of mine. Today I present to you this 2013 Hyundai Santa Fe Sport. As always, I will start it up, show you the engine, as well as show you around the interior and the exterior of the Santa Fe. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. This particular Santa Fe does have the smart key access system. To use it, all you need to do is have the key fob on you, say in your pocket. And by utilizing these buttons on the driver as well as the passenger side door handles, you can lock, you can lock and unlock the vehicle without actually having to use the key fob. As you can see, the car is currently unlocked. To lock it, just hit the button. Locking is accompanied by one beep. To unlock it, hit the button again. Once to unlock the driver's door, and a second time to unlock the rest of the doors. Unlocking is accompanied by two beeps. This Santa Fe has a Moonstone silver exterior with a gray leather interior. Along with the smart key access system, this particular Santa Fe does have push button start. So to start it, all you need to do is have the proximity key fob on you, put your foot on the brake, and hit the button to start. Starts right up. This particular Santa Fe has 39,000 miles on it. All right, now let's go ahead and cut on the headlights, fog lights, and hazards. The driver's side window is fully automatic. Now let's go ahead and check out the exterior of the Santa Fe. If you exit the vehicle with the key fob on you, it will give you this long and very annoying beep to let you know the key fob has left the vehicle. On the side of the exterior, you have body colored mirrors with your turn signal indicators, chrome door handles, chrome trim around the windows. Your fuel cap is on the driver's side. Around back, here are your rear tail lights, your Santa Fe, as well as Sport 2.0T badging, twin exit exhaust, you also have roof bars up top, and a rear spoiler. This Santa Fe rides on Yokohama YK740 tires, they are 235-55R19s, so you get 19 inch alloy wheels. front, you have projector headlights, your fog lights down below, as well as a chrome grille. Alright, now let's go ahead and pop the hood. This Santa Fe is powered by a 2 liter dual overhead cams, 16 valves, turbocharged inline 4 cylinder, producing 264 horsepower at 6000 RPM and 269 pound-feet of torque at 1750 RPM. It does 0 to 60 in 8.3 seconds and has a top speed of 125 miles an hour or 200 kilometers an hour. It has a 17.4 gallon fuel tank and is estimated to get 20 miles per gallon city, 27 highway, and 23 combined. The Santa Fe is front-wheel drive while all-wheel drive is optional. As far as transmission options, the Santa Fe is available with a 6-speed manual or a 6-speed automatic. This particular one has the automatic. It features manual shiftability. Upon putting it into reverse, the backup camera turns on. The backup camera does feature guidance lines. Coming back inside, you do get a 10-way power driver's seat, your height adjustment slide, recline, and four-way lumbar adjustment. You also get a four-way power passenger seat, which misses out on the height adjustment as well as lumbar adjustment. And on the door panels, you have plastic materials as well as a leather padded armrest, power windows, locks, mirrors, storage down below. To the left of the steering column, you have your panel dim, downhill assist control, traction control, as well as your active eco mode. Alright, let's go ahead, hop inside, do a few revs, and see how it sounds.
It's a good sounding engine. Go ahead and close the door. This one's rolled the window up. Now inside the interior of the Santa Fe, this particular one is not fully loaded. You have a storage compartment right up here. Right here's your CD player with your eject button as well as display controls. You can turn it on and off. When it's on right this, it shows the clock as well as the date. Right over here you can go to your radio. Just sound pretty good. This is also for the power to the radio, this knob. Also the volume knob. Right over here, you have your media settings. Here's your phone controls. You, have your si you can see your six preset stations right over here on the screen as well. Can't really see it that well. Right over here you can view just the clock. Right over here you can scan. Over here you got your setup. So those are your different settings over here. You have your tuning knob right here, seat track, as well as you can go through your folders, passenger airbag on and off. Down below, you have dual zone automatic climate control, fan speed right here, temperature settings for the driver and passenger, your AC, different modes. You have your dual button, front and rear defrost, recycling, all shows up on this little display right here as well. Down below that, you have some storage, two power outlets, an auxiliary input and USB port. Three stage heated seats for the driver and passenger, cup holders, have some storage right here. Here's your glove box containing all your owner's literature, there's some carpet and fiber trim right here. The steering wheel is a three spoke leather wrapped steering wheel which is very nice and smooth. You have sport grips up top, loud horn, right over here you'd have your volume controls, your mute button as well as different modes. Right here you can also go through the six preset stations, you got your voice command, answer a call, end a call. Over here you got your cruise control settings as well as your different steering modes. You've got normal, sport, as well as comfort. Right down here you got the controls for the display over here as well as your back button. You can go through various things. And all that stuff. So you press this to um, change and then press this to go down and then you got back to this. Anyways, to the left of the steering column, you got your headlights as well as your turn signal stock and to the right you got your wiper stocks. It's also manually tilting and telescoping. On the gauge cluster, you got your tachometer off to the left, engine temperature, shift indicator, as well as that little display that I was just showing you earlier on, your speedo as well as your outside temperature and fuel gauge. Side curtain airbags, grip handle for the driver, sun visor with vanity mirror, as well as a little light. And if you forget to turn it off, sun visor turns it off for you, which is ever so convenient. Auto dimming review mirror with your SOS emergency, compass, as well as garage home link, sunglass container, lights, as well as your Bluetooth microphone, Alright, that's basically it for up front. Let's go ahead and check out the back seat. Coming around to the back seat, your gray leather does carry through, as well as your door panels. The rear seats are also manually adjustable. You can slide them forward and back, as well as recline right over here. Hopping inside. You do get a pretty good amount of leg room back here. I'm about six foot one and this seat is all the way back. I have a good amount of leg room. A plentiful amount of headroom. You have dual seat mat pockets on the back seats. Down below that, a 12 volt power outlet. You also do have rear heated seats, which is ever so cool. Right over here, center armrest, cup holders. Got some grip handles up top with coat hooks. Dome lights back here. Alright, that's it for the back seat. Let's go ahead and check out trunk space. Coming around to the back, go ahead and press the membrane under the Hyundai logo to open the trunk. 
You do get a pretty good amount of trunk space back here, right under here. Got some jacking tools. I believe back there should be a spare. 12 volt power outlet right here with these levers. You can actually fold down the rear seats. So convenient. Would fold all the way flat if that seat was further forward. You also have a cargo cover, which is also removable to increase cargo space. All right, that's basically it for the trunk. All right, so that's basically it for the entire car. Let's go ahead and shut it down. You get a nice little goodbye greeting from your Hyundai. All of that will conclude the review on the 2013 Hyundai Santa Fe Sport. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like or a comment. Subscribe today if you haven't. I thank you all for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Goodbye.